I can understand and say decimal numbers correctly. This is a continuation from yesterday's notes. Why do we need to understand decimals? Decimal numbers allow you to write very precise values in sports. The difference between first and second place sometimes depends on decimal places. In swimming, in running, it can, can come down to the hundredth to the tenth of a second. So I want you to draw your line down your notebook, but then I want you to draw two horizontal lines across. All right, then we're going to draw kind of a line down the middle. And we're going to label this first one the ones place. So this is the ones place value. So you should be able to continue going now. If I draw another line, the next place value should be the tenths. The tens. And then draw another line. And next should be the hundreds. And another one. Thousands. Then you go ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, so forth. What I'm going to focus on is really to the right of the ones where we put in a decimal point, a little dot. There's a word that represents that dot. Hopefully you know that word is and. So now we, there's no such thing as the once place. Everything starts the first place value to the right of and is the tenths. You'll notice that THS on the end it means it's smaller than one. Then we have the hundredths. And we have the thousandths. And the ten thousandths. So get that all in your notebook. So let's practice here. So here's our place value chart. Here's everything we just did and drew into our notebook. Let's take a look at this first number. How would you say that? Three and two five hundredths? No, you actually say this the way it is and then you just go up. So it's three and twenty-five hundredths. The last number's place values, but you have. This one then would be 145 and 1,068 ten thousandths. Try that one. You would say this one as 24 and 79 thousandths. So let's write some decimals in words. Write 67.3. How would you really write that? I'm going to actually type, I think. So this would be 67 and 3 tenths. 67 and 3 tenths is how you would say that. So I want you to try the next one. All right, on this one, did you type in, I won't make it a little smaller here. You would have written something, or you would have written exactly six, and now you just look at that. That number without the decimal point is 734. And now you got to figure out the place value. Tens, hundred, thousands. So thousands. Six and 734 thousands. This last one. Go ahead and stop the video and give it a try. All right, you do not say zero end. We just leave that off. So this is 67, whoops, 67, and then we have 10 hundredths. 
67 hundredths. Now we're going to look at rounding. Rounding is because we don't want to add, always write all these numbers, so we can cut them off. The number that is underlined is what I'm being rounded to. So then in this case, I want to round it to the hundredths place, 10 hundredths. So I want you to circle the number that comes after it as a 2. 2 tells the 4 what to do. So if it's from 0 to 4, you stay the same. If it's from 5 to 9, it tells it to round up. And then you just get rid of what's after it. So in this case, you would have 2.3. That 2 tells the 4 to stay the same, so 2.34. The rest of the numbers just go away. So in this case, we look at the 4. The 7 tells us what to do. The 7 tells the 4. Well, it's between 5 and 9, so I need to round up. So I'm going to have 0 0.173. Now the 4 is what's going to get changed. The 4 gets changed to a 5. And then you don't write anything else after. So we have 1,735 ten thousandths. So the next one, the 5 tells the 0 to, well it's between 5 and 9 so I have to go up. So I end up with 9.1. So in this time I want you to tell me what the value of the 3 is. What is that place value? So write that in your notes and write the place value. Write 7.312 in your notes and write the place value. In this case the place value is 10 hundred thousands, so this would be the thousands place, and in this case it's in the tenths place. So now you're going to take out your book and do your homework.